Hello. Um, I really didn't totally know what I was going to talk about today. Um, usually I have stuff in advance, in advance to you know, talk about. But, you know, um, I was kind of just waffling back and forth about what I could possibly say. And... There's been news about the Academy Awards, the Oscars. Now, I'm sure many of you have probably heard of this by now. But if you haven't, well, uh, let me just tell you. Well, first there's going to be some new stuff going on. Like, basically there's some new rules that are going to Try, they're going to make the, well, new rules, whatever. Uh, they're Basically, they're going to shorten the Academy Awards. It's going to be three hours next year, an exact three hours. It's not going to go on for another hour, you know, like this past year. What they're going to do is some of the awards people really don't care about. Uh, like some of the best short film short documentaries, some technical forwards, things people really don't uh, really care about. Um, not that they aren't uh, deserving categories, but at the same time, the general public does not care about best visual effects, best sound design, or sound editing, sound mixing, whatever they're called now. They just don't. Nor costume design or anything like that. Short film, short animated film. You know, the, the average movie going, uh, average Joe, whoever, they just don't. They just don't care about those kind of things. So, what they're going to do is they're going to make sure. They all get awards, but they're going to do them in commercial breaks. And then when they come back, maybe they, you know, the host says whatever. And then they'll show a highlight reel of the winners. Like, oh, so-and-so won this and for that film and this and that. All the while, either before or after they present another award and then they continue on with the show. In a way, I actually think that's good. You know, I do, actually, not really in a way, because that would kind of imply in another way that's bad, but that's actually quite good. Um, and again, nothing against those who do visual effects or costuming or anything of the sort. Anything that uh, outside of like best picture, best director, best writing, either adapted or original any of the acting categories, or score, like music, or song, things of that nature. Uh, those are like some of the big awards people honestly really care about. Um, I would say, you know, best picture, best director, best screenplay, I know there's two of those, best acting, there's There's eight categories there. Uh, so with that, then there's best music and or score and song. You know, there's ten categories there um, that people would generally, you know, care about. Um, it, it's okay. I want to actually. Uh, I'm gonna look at all the, uh, you know, the major categories. I want to make sure I got them all. I want to ensure this. Uh... All right, major categories: best picture, best director, best actor, supporting actor, best actress, best supporting actress.
best original score, original song. Tapped at screenplay. Uh, original screenplay. So yeah, there is ten. I wanted to make sure. And then there's best animated feature, sorry, best animated film. Uh, many people have complained about that because, you know, many people are upset that you know animated films don't get acknowledged a whole lot by uh, the Academy. You know, there's only been like a few uh, animated films to be considered best picture worthy. You know, there's Beauty and the Beast was the first in 1991. Then there was uh, Up in 2009. 2010 was Toy Story 3. I mean, that's really it. Um, and Toy Story 1 was nominated for original screenplay. Uh, Ratatouille and Incredibles were nominated for original screenplay as well. And I believe... Uh, Adapted screenplay was a nomination. Toy Story 3 got. I'm not sure about Up. I kind of want to say that film got that way for. Oh, I apologize for that. For a screenplay Oscar, but. Uh, you know, I don't want to say something that I guess I could. But, you know, there's. Okay, outside of those 10 categories, you know, there's Best Animated Feature Film. People will probably want to see that. Animated short film. I don't know. Again, I think all the shorts, like short live action, best live action short film, and then there's best documentary short. I don't think people really care about that overall. Um, so there's like, there's one, two three already. Um, cinematography, I, I don't know if the average person wants to see the cinematography go up. I'd say thanks. Uh, I'm not going to say no, but you never know. So that could be in the maybe pile. Best editing, I don't believe people really care about that. Best costume design, Best documentary feature, yeah, people will probably care about that. Um, so there's twelve for sure. I believe people would care about you know, best foreign language film. There's thirteen. Makeup and hairstyling. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, perhaps, but again, it's like cinematography that could go in either or. I, I, I don't truly know um, what the average public thinks. You know, I guess maybe for makeup and costume, possibly, but cinematography, you know, technical awards, I don't think people really care much about. Um, score, so, you know, production design, probably not. That's some people aren't that interested in sound editing and sound mixing, visual effects, not really. And you know, after screenplay, original script. So now, uh, here is what. <laughs> here's the category that's new that I'm also going to mention. Because that's the thing that people are paying more attention to and understandable. And it's very understandable why. There's a new category called Best Popular Film. Now, um, what does that mean? Well, apparently, uh, even though they're going to do, they're going to try and change it up and, I guess, possibly restructure how the Oscars are voted for. Because one thing is, they, for the past few years, they've tried to, you know, appeal more to, uh, you know, be, to, to, to diversify the awards. They want it to be, I guess, more inclusive. 
with uh, all races and stuff, which, okay, fine, but, you know, somebody shouldn't win just because they're a specific color. That's, uh, that, that doesn't really mean they were the true best. They won because uh, they were black, they were Hispanic, they were Asian, they were, you know, whatever. It's not very, uh, it's not a very good thing to be doing, um, but, you know, whatever, um, but the fact is that a lot of people, you know, they want to see <sighs> the films, people, many people want to see the films they enjoy and love, think are the best, up and nominated, but most often than not, that doesn't happen. And this popular, best popular film, it seems like they're just trying to do this to get more people to watch the Oscars since for a number of years now, the Oscars have been declining in quality. Um, they've been very political and that just annoys people, makes it like I don't, they don't want to ever watch it really ever again. Um, so, you know, that's understandable. I didn't, I don't really watch, I don't watch the Oscars really anymore. I watched it this past year, only somebody was, but it was like a live stream while giving commentary over it. And, uh, I apologize for yawning. I, I'm actually not really tired, but for some reason I'm just yawning today um, but you know it it's so it's it's so it's like why like they kind of want to diversify also not just the people who get nominated but the films so like when the dark knight didn't get nominated for best picture or director people got upset and angry at the Oscars. And then the following year, there's 10 films that can now be nominated. Now there's been some people say, oh, Dark Knight had no influence on this whatsoever. It was completely an unrelated thing. We've just decided to do that, just broaden and blah, blah, blah. Well, it, how interesting that that happens just as people are upset, or after people are upset and angry that a f uh, a Batman film doesn't get nominated for Best Picture or recognize, you know, just recognized in any huge major category outside of supporting actor. All the other stuff was like sort of like could be technical stuff, awards or makeup or things like that. Like and stuff people probably don't really care about. Like the average person who's going to watch this stuff. Funny how when that film didn't get honored just with the nomination of Best Picture and or Director, oh, you have this new category, this new thing where people or are, are more films can get nominated for Best Picture. And some thought that cheapened that award. Well, quite honestly, some of the decisions that win Best Picture have already kind of cheapened that award long before The Dark Knight got snubbed at the Oscars. So, just, just, just to kind of... <laughs> Keep that in mind. Uh, I'm, I'm sure many people who would watch this kind of think that already. But, you know, it's it's true. I mean, some of the favorite your favorite people don't get awards. Or if they do, they get it real late, like later in their career. Maybe it's not a career best. Or maybe it is, but they also should have had multiple. It's like, you know, uh, Gary Oldman won for this film. I think he deserved it. For this film, um, but he deserved it for other uh, films as well, as well as other nominations. Um, I think he should have uh, been nominated and win for this film. Um, and some others, um, Christian Bale, he won for. One for this film, The Fighter, deserved that. Uh, talking about The Dark Knight, I think he could have been nominated for The Dark Knight. Um, 
I truly do. Um, I know people talk about Heath Ledger, and Heath Ledger is fantastic and is great. Um, but during that time, you know, it was fairly getting a bit more politically correct, more PC during the 2008 Oscars and such. And, um, you know, there was some, some people have suggested that if Heath Ledger was alive, he probably wouldn't have won. And I think that is a very good possibility, though he deserved it no matter what. Um, but now we'll never know what would have happened since he passed away a decade ago. And it's sad. But, you know, it's, it's like, what, what? I don't know, it's like, unfortunately, that's, that's what happened. Christian Bale, you know, yeah, he got praised for being Batman, but again, he didn't really get nominated for any big awards, any major ones, at least. Um, well, there was, I guess, maybe like the Critics' Choice Award, but uh, outside of that, um, like actor on action film or something of the sort. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, uh, I think he could have been nominated, and I would have liked to have seen him win alongside Heath Ledger. I think that would have been pretty cool. And would have liked to have seen The Dark Knight win Best Picture and Director. Um, that's just me. Maybe some of you might think similarly. I think even The Dark Knight Rises could have been nominated for a bunch of Oscars, because that's the only film that wasn't nominated um, for that film. And I know I'm probably saying all this again, I've said it before, but honestly, with this new category, uh, you know, The Dark Knight was a popular film. What if this category existed years ago, it existed during The Dark Knight, the year that came out? That probably would have won Best uh, Popular Film, I would believe. I would think. Um, uh, that's just me. I saw... Uh, <clears throat> I saw an article with a bunch of listings and stuff. like Talking about how people got upset that Dark Knight was nominated. As well as even Wally. Because that came out in 2008. That was a huge hit. People liked that movie. And we're upset that wasn't considered for best picture. Um, but yeah, it's just it's it's like a big mess, you know. Films like The Dark Knight do get not nominated, but they should they should be nominated for more awards and win more awards, but they don't because why? The Dark Knight is a comic book film. And The Dark Knight Rises was also a comic book film, but, you know, you know, I I love The Dark Knight Rises. I enjoyed it. I pretty much said, you know, it's my favorite film of the trilogy. Uh, actually, I believe I have said that. Um, but I do love The Dark Knight. I love Batman Begins as well. But, you know, it's... It's, it's just one of those puzzling things. Uh, in The Dark Knight Rises, they said if the, that this new category was around back then, they believe The Dark Knight Rises would have won the best popular film. I think I would agree with that. Um, no, it, and popular films have been nominated for Best Picture in the past. You know, it's not like films have been omitted because of they made a lot of money or this or that. You know, um, Jaws got nominated for Best Picture, the, literally the first blockbuster ever, and then Star Wars two years later, although Star Wars also got nominated for Best Director and Original Screenplay. All those Oscars went to Woody Allen's Annie Hall, and I've said enough about that film already. But that didn't win, as well as Supporting Actor for Alec Guinness, probably because... It was a science fiction film. 
It's a science fiction fantasy film. It's a space opera. Oh, it's science fiction. Hmm. Won't well, nominate it, but it won't win. Even though, actually, if you looked at the films of that year, um, as well as the, what was nominated that year at the Oscars, um, Star Wars is actually the best film that year. Um, and I'm not just saying that because uh, I'm biased and I love Star Wars. That's it. It, it. it just is. It is the, you know, it is the number one movie of the year. I bet most people will probably say that, too. And not everybody's a Star Wars fan, but if you listed a bunch of movies uh, that were fairly popular uh, during that time, I think it'd be fair to say Star Wars would most likely uh, be the winner for the best film of 1977. Granted, that would be like a public poll or something like that, but seriously, that's just like, you know, granted, the Academy's like, we're honoring the best in film. Um, and obviously, you know, sometimes the biggest blockbusters of the year shouldn't get nominated because, you know, like Transformers, like it was just like, it's a big action uh, visual feast for the eyes. That's really it. There's nothing incredibly, uh, truly awards worthy outside of sound and visual stuff. Outside of that, there's really nothing for a film like Transformers to get nominated at the Oscars for. Um, <sighs> apologies again, but still. And also with Jaws, Steven Spielberg didn't get nominated for Best Picture. Or Best Director, it got nominated for Best Picture, it didn't win, but Director, he didn't get nada. For whatever reason, they snubbed him. Nobody really knows why. Usually Best Picture and Director go hand in hand. Well, apparently not that year. But, you know, it's it's... It's just so weird, and the weirdest part is nobody knows what's going to determine how a film can get nominated for best. Uh, you know, best popular film. What is the requirements? Is it money? Is it what's the biggest blockbuster of the year? Like what made the most money? Is it what's the most critically acclaimed film of the year? Because some of those are the most artsy fartsy films, honestly. Um, but since many of the people who, since many of those films they get nominated anymore, most have never seen them, they don't care. Um, they don't care about films like The Artist or uh, Birdman or The Shape of Water even. You know, these are all films that have some art artistic stuff in them and people just don't care about that kind of stuff. They want to be entertained. Um, they want to just zone out for like two, two and a half hours and just enjoy a film. Be it having a message or not, it doesn't matter. If it's an entertaining film, fine. Just don't shove a message in your face about this or that. Or try to make some sort of statement. But, you know... And another thing is people are like, well, people wanted a film like Black Panther to get possibly considered to be nominated for Best Picture, but they think uh, with this category, that's going to make people not vote for it into Best Picture. Um, you know, and I've seen Black Panther, I thought it was good. I wouldn't say Best Picture material. Uh, that's just me. Uh, I thought it was a fine movie, but I wouldn't say it should be nominated for Best Picture. As of now, I think, yeah, it could get nominated for that award, as well as possibly some other films like Avengers. Um, I, I don't know what else. A, a Quiet Place, perhaps. Yeah, I, I still enjoy, I really enjoyed that film. 
But yeah, it's like... Uh, what's the point outside of, you know, doing this to get more people to uh, view your award show that has been suffering over the past many years? Um, and, and another thing with this award, who's it going to go to? You know, who's going to be nominated? Because for Best Picture, it's not the director that gets nominated, it's the producers. So if the producer, you know, isn't also the director, well, they, like the director didn't produce it, well, they can't get nominated for Best Picture because they didn't, you know, uh, they didn't produce it, so. You know, but you'd think top prize would possibly go to the director. You know, the director's the one that made it. You know, they had the vision. They set their vision. You know, they set it up here, got all the people together to see their vision through, and it was on the screen, and it was for everybody to see, and people all enjoyed it. And then you think they'd get top prize. But only if they produce it, otherwise. Not really. Um, maybe it should be a shared thing, like best, like the director by default gets nominated for best picture, and it wins. And if they win, they get it too. Sometimes just picture and director don't always go to the same film. Uh, like last year, La La Land won director, Moonlight won best picture. It's happened before. Um, that's a recent example. Like Traffic won best director, but Gladiator won best uh, picture. And, Gla and really, Scott wasn't too, I don't think I was upset that he didn't win an Oscar, but he was just confused. Like, how can a film <clears throat> uh, win Best Picture, but the director doesn't get nothing? It's sort of like Jaws again. Spielberg got nominated for nothing, but the film was nominated for Best Picture. Doesn't really make sense. Um, if, like, in the 70s, the big boom of what happened of the big blockbuster, if best popular film was around then, um, I think Jaws would have probably have won that category, and I think Star Wars would have won as well. Um, but yeah, what what uh, uh, who should the war go to? Because like you know, foreign film, let's say like foreign films, you know who you know who what wins that uh, award? <coughs> it's not the director. It's not the producers. It's the country. The director gets to go up and collect the award, but then they they aren't the official winners. So unless they've written the film and or directed the film, you know, well, obviously, the, if they, obviously they directed the film, but if they also wrote it, and they can get nominated for those categories as well and produced it if it gets nominated for Best Picture. But if it wins foreign film, they get nothing. The first time that was ever, you know, give, given out, uh, from what I've read, uh, Dino De Laurentiis and a producing partner of his won. They were the first people to win that award and the only people so far. They've never honored any one specific person ever again. It just goes to that country that the film was produced in. So it's like, I think, honestly, for this new category, it should go to the director. Maybe director and producer. Um, like, there's a very good, uh, prominent producer or two with the director who truly helped make the film. <sighs> Otherwise, I don't know how... Or who you would give the award to, honestly. I just I just don't. Wouldn't make sense to me otherwise. Um, then again, this award doesn't really make a lot of sense. Outside of a ratings ploy. Um, but yeah, uh, been going on for 30 minutes. But I just kind of wanted to talk about that. I know it was a bit lengthy, obviously. 30 minutes, 
but you know, the Dark Knight probably would have most likely have won best popular film, and quite possibly even The Dark Knight Rises. So maybe no one could have had two Oscars by now, <clears throat> depending on who they choose to give the award. Though if they did give it to the producers, he would have won for those two films because he produced the films as well as directing and uh, wrote them. Uh, maybe Dunkirk would have had a better shot than, you know, that was a popular film. One of the biggest blockbusters, though. Uh, there's also a Wonder Woman, so, so you know, there you go, but, uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say, you know, otherwise I would just be going over who should win and who shouldn't, blah, 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 like in the past, but I just wanted to stay on topic, uh, and not go, not veer off too far. I think I did that very well. Obviously, this is a fairly long video. Uh, um, though most of my videos are, so there you go. I think if you've watched me at this point, you're kind of used to that. But, you know, that's just what I think. I think it's pretty stupid overall. If you, if, if you didn't get that through my big explanation, like if that got lost at the end of it, if here, if you're watching this, I think it's dumb. Just diversify and change what gets nominated. I mean, if you really want people to watch, nominate the films people love, you know. It can be both critically acclaimed and uh, audience acclaimed. Like People love that film as well. Like, I think that could be a big deciding factor of best popular film. Otherwise, I, I, don't, I don't know how that's going to be decided. Because the Academy has not uh, announced how this is going to be uh, done. So, maybe I'll do a video on that when, when or if, well, when that's announced. Um, but... There you go. Um, that's really all I gotta say at the moment on the matter. It's just a dumb ploy to get people to watch when they should just probably just watch or nominate the films people love. That everybody loves. That has merit of being nominated. And even possi the possibility of being awarded an Oscar. Does it matter if it's science fiction like Star Wars? Does it matter if it's fantasy like The Lord of the Rings? So The Lord of the Rings Return of the King won every Oscar, including Best Picture and Director and Adapted Screenplay uh, at the Oscars. Then it doesn't matter if it's a comic book film like The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, or anything like that. It just doesn't matter. If a film is good, it's good. But yeah, that's really all I gotta say. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop this because I'm just gonna be rambling on now if I keep going. So uh, I'll see you all next time. Have a good weekend.